Hello everyone, I'm CJ Willeman. Don't forget to click the subscribe button below. We kindly ask you please help keep our show going and growing by supporting my journalism at patreon.com slash CJ Willeman. Now let's get into it. Israel's new government has now been finalized and has been accurately described Netanyahu's dream state. Given it's the most racist and oppressive regime in the history of his criminally invented country. Israel's new foreign affairs minister has even threatened to ethnically cleanse Palestinians for waving the Palestinian flag. While Netanyahu promises genocide and ethnic cleansing by vowing to give Jewish people exclusive right to all areas within Israel and Palestine. Even Israeli Jews acknowledge the future has become increasingly bleak for the Palestinians. But so-called Western democracies are again turning a blind eye to the Nazification of racist Zionist rule. And believe me, I'm not using those words carelessly. I say them deliberately because there's zero difference between Germany's Nazi party and the current Israeli regime. Both are constructed on racial and cultural supremacy and the annihilation of an unwanted population. Zionism is a racist and barbaric political ideology because it turns otherwise good people into genocidal monsters. It then begs the question, who on earth is coming to the rescue of the Palestinian people? Because if you think 2022 was bad, then 2023 will be even worse. The numbers speak for themselves. 7,000 Palestinians arrested, including 160 women and 850 children, with 215 murdered, including 53 children. That said, an unlikely champion or savior for the Palestinians has emerged on the horizon. I'm talking about two groups of people, Jewish Americans and the Orthodox Jewish community. But whereas Jewish Americans are only just now coalescing against the far right Israeli government, Orthodox Jews have spent the past 100 years vehemently opposing Zionism. Benjamin Netanyahu does not represent the Jewish people. Neither does he represent the Jewish religion. We are talking about a state of Israel which is in total, it's a total criminal. It's in total violation of Judaism. Uh, the idea of creating a sovereign state for Jews is forbidden according to Judaism. Oppressing an entire people, the Palestinian people, is a crime in Jewish religion. You see, Orthodox Jews remember how Zionism was founded as a racist ethno-nationalist ideology. They were there when Zionism's founding fathers rejected Judaism and were in fact atheists. But they used Judaism as a fig leaf to legitimize their Zionist movement during the early 20th century. In fact, Zionism was condemned by all leading Jewish rabbis at the time, which is why today Zionists use scare tactics to intimidate Jews into supporting the state of Israel. But Orthodox Jews do not consider Israel to be a legitimate political nation state for Jews, because the Jewish people belong to many nationalities. Contradictory Judaism is subservience to the Almighty, practiced for thousands of years, a covenant with God to be subservient to Him. And Zionism is a new movement, a relatively new movement, a transformation from the religion into a base materialistic, nationalistic movement to have a piece of land which is forbidden for the Jewish people. Okay. Zionists, however, use propaganda to convey the false impression that Israel and the Jewish people are one and the same. And let's not forget that even the United Nations defines Zionism as a racist political ideology. So, if Israel's founding fathers were atheists and opposed to Judaism, then how can criticism of Israel be considered anti-Semitic? It can't, and Orthodox Jews aren't falling for it. With the new Israeli government promising to step up its effort to displace and oppress the Palestinian people, more and more Orthodox Israeli Jews are now coming forward to denounce the criminal Zionist Israeli state.
יהוד. אני יהוד, לא סיון. אני רוצה להיות יהודי כמו פעם, כמו לפני 150 שנה, שחיו פה בשלום, בשמחה. שכל הפלסטינים יחזרו לפה. כולם יחזרו לכל המקומות, לתל אביב, הכל שייך לכם. אני אוהב אומרים לכולם, הכל שייך לכם. But even more encouraging is the way Jewish Americans, including politicians and celebrities, are finally turning against Israel and towards the Palestinians. Even Jewish employees at Google urged the company to sever ties with the Israeli military. A recent poll found that roughly 20% of American Jews now support the Boycott Israel movement, and more than 50% support an independent Palestinian state, which highlights a remarkable shift in attitudes during the past decade. So what explains this shift? Well, social media has made it difficult for Israel to hide the brutality and criminality of its illegal occupation and apartheid. For example, 20 years ago when Israel was bombing Gaza, Americans were privy only to a newspaper headline here and there. Today, however, the world gets to see that barbarity in unfiltered images splashed across Facebook and Twitter. But there are also other dynamics at play within the American Jewish community. Right now, the state of Israel is the strongest centrifugal force in Jewish life. And almost the most conflict that exists in Jewish life today, if there's a particular issue that Jews fight about more than anything else, it's the state of Israel. Now, given 75% of American Jews vote for the Democratic Party, and given the growing support among American Jews for Palestinian liberation, we will soon see a widening partisan divide against Israel in the United States. Which means Israel's days as an occupying force are numbered in years, not decades. Clearly, the liberation of Palestine is closer than you think. And it's because an ever-increasing number of Jews are taking a stand against Zionism and the Zionist state. Because all the killings what the Zion is doing, all they're doing in our name. The killing, the robbery, the take away the land and the properties, everything what they're doing is in our name, the name of the Jewish people. So it's very important to come out to show the real Jewish voice, people what follow God, what is their voice. And their voice is that the whole land should go back for the Palestinians. Today, a growing chorus among the global Jewish population are turning against Zionism and apartheid Israel. A state that was constructed on racism, theft and genocide, and enforced today with supremacism and intimidation. Now is the time for human rights conscious Jews to join the Palestinian people in their struggle for life and liberty. Palestine will be free. Anyway, that's my time for today. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and we kindly ask you please support this endeavor by becoming a member of this show at patreon.com slash CJ We can't produce, sustain and grow this show without your help and we offer exclusive benefits to those who do. But for now, good night, good morning, wherever you are, and stay blessed.